trees that we've gotten already developed. Okay. We're still developing, okay? I'm gonna, but I'm, I'm a state tell senator, you if so you, you can ask on Veterans Affairs, you can ask how I voted here, because I do okay. have a record. Okay, all right. Um, so, Derek Smith. I happen to be acquaintance of his. Okay. And, He's a majority and, leader. Yes. Yeah. And where do you fall in with Derek? How do you how you and him see life together? Or do you? I'm a conservative Republican. Okay. All right. I consider Derek a moderate. He is a moderate. All Derek right. is a moderate. But I understood I understand his life, you know. But I don't know yours. Yeah. I don't. I have a record, so okay. you can check it. Okay. Absolutely, All right. absolutely. All right. But, nice but, but let me say too, if you are elected, if you are elected and you go, answer the letter. Yes. Do. Okay. All right. And remember that, and, I, and I'm going to ring my own bell, the veterans has, has helped put you there. You know, you're here because of the veterans. My grandfather is a World War I veteran. Okay. My, grand, my dad is a World War II veteran. Okay, all right. All right. So you understand it. I do. Well, it's an honor for me to have the privilege to stand up here and uh, be able to talk to you for a moment. I'm Dennis Pyle. I'm a farmer from Northeast Kansas. I'm currently a state senator. I was elected in 2000 to the Kansas House and elected to the Senate in 2004 and re-elected in 2008. I had the privilege and the honor to vote for the concealed carry legislation to help get it passed. And um, just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my wife Jennifer is here today. I'm not sure where she's at. Oh, she's over here. Uh, we will celebrate 30 years of marriage coming up here in May. And I have six daughters, ages 13 to ages 13 to 26. Uh, three of them are here with me today, helping uh, to get some literature out to you to show the difference in uh, candidates in this race. I am running for Congress in the second district. I'm challenging Lynn Jenkins. Uh, just for your knowledge and information, on this sheet there is a uh, recorded vote about the concealed carry legislation that was voted on in 1998 and uh, Representative Jenkins then voted against that legislation, delaying our efforts and standing in the way of getting concealed carry passed. And uh, so I want you to know that, and uh, I have always been a supporter of Second Amendment rights. Unlike her, I did not have to be converted on the issue, and you will hear her say during this campaign uh, lots of rhetoric about it, but that is what your challenge is in this election, is to look past the rhetoric of the candidates and to look at the records and the truth and to find it. Because the truth is something you have to have wisdom to discern. You have to see what's right and true, and you have to also discern and distinguish what is false and what is not right. And to do that, fortunately, you have a record. You have Dennis Powell's record, and you have Lynn Jenkins' record. I want to, before I close, I want to thank Tammy for organizing the event. It's a Monday afternoon, and to get people to come out to celebrate this uh, Second Amendment uh, issue is, is uh, a worthwhile project, and she deserves to be thanked for what she has done. I also want to uh, thank uh, Representative Connie O'Brien for sponsoring the event. Uh, Connie, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, I want to thank Patricia Stone King, who's with the State Rifle Association also, because uh, as a legislator, we have the NRA and we have uh, Patricia's group that lobby and come and tell us, you know, what we need to do to fix things and make things better. And so they work hard to, on this issue and others to help us to understand and to comprehend and there are a lot of legislators that need the information that they put out so those of you that are members of that organization thank you for contributing and for helping with that and to help us get the legislation passed to protect our second amendment rights and again thank you i appreciate it i would appreciate any support you can give us you can go to our website pileforcongress.com uh, my daughter has sign up sheets we need volunteers and we need people to talk one of the things that we put out on that sheet of paper is there is a small print of an invitation and there's a hyperlink. Our congressman was in New York helping Didi Skazafava, who is a very liberal person running for Congress in New York. Your congressman from Kansas. I can tell you that will not happen if I'm elected to Congress. I'm ready to fight for you and for right, what rights you believe and I stand for the Constitution and I thank you for allowing me to talk. Thank you, Tammy.